Prince Harry is certainly never far away from controversy and this trend doesn't be, seem to be changing a jot. Yesterday it came to light that he's due to host a virtual live event later today with controversial trauma expert Gabor Maté. Maté will join the Duke of Sussex for an intimate £17 a head virtual conference to discuss living with loss and the importance of personal healing, followed by a live Q&A. It's not clear if Prince Harry is aware of his expert's controversial background. However, critics have queried why he would choose to promote his book in this way. Joining us now uh, to discuss this is our royal reporter, Cameron Walker, and historian, uh, Dr Tessa Dunlop. Let's go to Tessa first. Tessa, what do you make of what Harry is doing? I mean, is it just about flogging his book? Because that seems to be, Random House seems to be the people in charge of that. He got a £20 million uh, uh, dollar or pound deal and now he has to recoup that money. Or is it something far more important he's doing? First of all, in the interest of misinformation, I have to inform you that looking at my bank statement, in fact, my ticket for this afternoon at five o'clock costs £19.12. Well, did you know two for why? They put, an extra two they put an extra £2, whatever it was, on for UK people participating. So that's what you've been discriminated against there. <laughs> Oh, well, I suppose now his main platform is America. After all, he no longer has a base within the crown of States. Um, I think as someone who writes the book, um, the idea that you do a virtual uh, gig at which you insist people have bought a book, that is the condition, uh, it is extraordinary because for the maj vast majority of writers, no one would turn up. There's this kind of, it's a wonderful ruse because in order to get into this event, this virtual event, you have to buy another book. That's what the cost is. Mm. So people like me who have already bought a book because for journalistic reasons, if nothing else, we all had to know what was in the book. This means that we've all got to buy a second book. So uh, whoever cooked it up, it's absolutely ingenious. Full credit to Penguin Random House for that one. I don't consider it so controversial. As someone who writes books, we're constantly expected to promote them. That's part of the contract. In most book contracts, they'll say six days promotion, 10 days promotion. I mean, has Harry done that? He did three or four interviews, uh, one here in Britain, of course. I think he's probably got to do a couple more. And um, he's very carefully chosen somebody who's a guru in healing, uh, healing on Harry's terms, of course. And this is about revenue and it's about his truth. This isn't going to be somebody who's, who will be interrogating him about uh, the inconsistencies in his narrative. Especially, I think the main inconsistency for me is that Harry um, claims he's not anti-monarchist and yet he's you know, fired a huge number of cannons at the monarchy. But I still would say overall at the end of this week, I have an eye as a monarchist light who wants to see our family monarchy look inclusive and forgiving. I'm very sad about what's happened this week. And I'm sad because we're going to end up with Prince Andrew at the coronation and not with Harry and Meghan. And that feels like an imbalance and, and something that won't play out particularly well on, on the global stage. Tessa, you say it's not controversial, but if you look at page 12 and 13 of the Daily Mail today, it seems very controversial. The person that he's sharing a platform with, this is a person who uh, they allege has defended Corbyn, Hamas terrorists, says uh, all drugs should be legal. Um, it seems to me to be a, a rather strange person for, for, for the Duke of Sussex to choose to have uh, share a platform with, would you not say? <laughs> Sorry, I, I misconstrued what I was trying to get at there, which is for Harry. I think he will be, the, he's not going to interrogate him. Harry wouldn't go for somebody from a more centrist or right perspective because they would interrogate him about the inconsistencies around his monarchy thesis, for instance. Whereas this man, I think, will very much lean in to Harry's narrative, which is after all what Harry wants. He's trying to flog books. He's yeah. trying to win sympathy on his own terms. This has been very carefully choreographed. We can't recall record it. We are invited in only if we buy a book. It's You can't share it with anyone. So as I say, on his terms, and yes, controversial, but not controversial in terms of those people that Harry's picked off as enemies, such as yeah. the aforementioned I think Daily you've Mail. Got a